Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. If you're new, welcome. Um, I film mostly luxury related videos and I try to upload a video at least once a week on Sundays. So if you do enjoy watching luxury videos, I would appreciate it if you consider joining my little YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you're not new, shout out to you. You're a real one. Um, so today's video is a review on my Louis Vuitton 6 key holder or the 6 ring key holder, um, whatever you want to call it. I mentioned it in a previous video and I asked if anyone would like to see me do a review and I did get a response and someone wants me to do a review on it so here's a review on my Louis Vuitton 6 key holder so I have it with me right here and I took out the keys um, for this video just so it's not making a lot of noise um, I have mine in the monogram canvas with the rose ballerine interior this is what the front looks like and this is what the back looks like and the rose ballerine color is kind of like a light pink so it comes in multiple prints it comes in damier bean damier azor it comes in the monogram and then it comes in the epi leather i only see a black epi leather i'm not sure if they have other colors and um i don't think you can get this combination anymore the monogram and the rose ballerine interior they do have the damier bean and the rose ballerine interior and they have um this in like the regular monogram inside which is like a brown and then I saw like a fuchsia which is like a more vibrant like purplish pink color um, but yeah I don't think they make this specific combination anymore so if you want to get the monogram with the rose ballerine interior you would probably have to find that pre-loved so the buckle right here is a light pink color and so is the interior it's like this cute sort of baby pink color and then over here it says Louis Vuitton Paris and this um, this particular item was made in France. I'm not sure if that's picking up right there. And then as the name suggests, it has six key slots or six key rings so it can fit um, at least six keys. I think you can probably fit a couple of more things depending on how um, bulky your key fob is if you do decide to put your key fob inside. But yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six key slots or like six key rings where you can put your keys inside. And then it also has like this little pocket on the back side where um, you can put stuff inside. So typically what I do here with these card slots is if I'm running an errand and I really don't want to carry anything besides this, I'll put my driver's license in here and like my debit card or credit card or if I have cash, I would just put the cash in here. And yeah, I have my keys, I have my license, and I have some sort of um, cash or like some sort of money just so I can pay for whatever it is that I want to buy. So this comes in really handy when you don't want to carry anything, you can just use this. I've had this piece for over a year. I think I got this in May last year and I got it off of Poshmark um, because I couldn't find this specific combination on the Louis Vuitton site. It wasn't available at the time. I don't baby this at all and I use it pretty much every day obviously because it has my car keys and it has my house key. It's definitely falling down quite a lot of times and I think it's been caught in the rain and just yeah I definitely don't handle this with care at all I think it's held up pretty good actually um, you know just based off of how I handle it and everything I do have a couple of scratches and dings on it but I mean it's nothing too crazy and I feel like if it really starts to bother me I can just take it to the Louis Vuitton store and have them fix it but um yeah so speaking of the scratches that I have right here there's like a little chip over here and then there's like a shadow like a round shadow on the buckle um which kind of to me i think that just means like it's wearing off i don't think this would happen to the regular monogram with the regular monogram interior just because um i feel like it's not I don't know what it is that's on here that's scratchable but I feel like that's actually like a gold hardware so instead of that one peeling I think it would probably just scratch um, correct me if I'm wrong let me know if you have the actual regular monogram one and um, what sort of wear you have on this but this one is definitely peeling and then the gold on the rings especially here where it kind of like meets, meets this is kind of silver like obviously it's starting to wear off let me bring it a little closer like you can see right here it's not really gold anymore it's silver and then also right here on the top the gold is also wearing off and um, yeah it says Louis Vuitton right here but the gold on the top right here is also wearing off the pink it's, it's still quite clean um, actually I've never really wiped it I've never tried to wipe it and I'm pretty sure if I did it would just be cleaner um, but it's not dirty at all as you can see it's still like a bright vibrant pink then I'm guessing from like holding it up this way so many times the canvas is cracking I'm not sure if it's picking it up right here 
it's peeling and also right here so the corners are kind of not peeling it's cracking yeah the canvas is sort of cracking over here at the top but it's really not doing that at the bottom which is weird like I thought it would be the same um, both ways I mean at the, on the top and the bottom but that doesn't seem to be the case but yeah the canvas is actually still in great condition the only really major things that you can see are this little scratch on the buckle I mean yeah on the front buckle and then like the discoloration on the rings over here and then the cracking or the peeling of the canvas right here but honestly you can't even tell from far like you would have to literally be looking at it to be able to notice that um, and like I said I don't baby this at all I use this all the time it's fallen so many times and like it just yeah it's it's been through a lot so just for the sake or for the purpose of this video just to demonstrate I do have two cards here um, to imitate my driver's license and my credit card um, so you can fit that right here the first one just went in and then you can put the second one also right there so you can I, I really wouldn't I'm, I don't know if it can fit more than two cards I wouldn't personally do more than two cards because I'm not really trying to mess up the shape of the bag and I, I mean of the six key holder I don't do this every day I do this once in a while I have the two cards inside let me put my keys and my key fob inside and then I'll show you guys what it looks like Okay, so I do have my keys inside and as you can see, it is a little bulky. Well, not a little bulky. The bottom part is a lot more bulky than the top is. Um, this is what the top looks like with my keys inside. This is what it looks like on the side. This is what it looks like on the side. So it is a lot bulky with my key fob inside. Um, I think my key fob might be a little too big, but I'm okay with how this looks. Um, it doesn't bother me at all and it really doesn't take up that much space in my bag. I have noticed though that what I have to do because if I don't do that my key fob sticks out and that irritates <laughs> it just annoys me so bad so what I do is I do have it on what is what are these things called like a key not a keychain I don't know if it's called a keychain but I do have it on that and then I literally just push it up because if I leave it down then it's gonna fall so I push it up and then I close it I do kind of have to mess around with it because that little round thingy sticks out a little bit so I just stick it up and then I close it like I said it is bulky because my key fob is not that small but I'm okay with I'm okay with it being bulky I just like how it looks better this way as opposed to having my key fob outside I don't really have that many keys inside as you can see I just have two keys so my key fob is quite chunky it's quite fat so it takes up a lot of space but again I don't mind how it looks this way all in all I really like this um, I think it comes in very handy it just keeps my keys organized I'm a very I don't want to say I'm disorganized or unorganized however you say it um, but I'm a very yeah not organized person and I lose things pretty quick so I just like that my keys are in one place and instead of having to search search like crazy for all my keys I know it's in here this is big enough for me to find in any bag so I'm not like going crazy trying to find my keys and um, yeah this just helps me stay more organized and um, obviously protect your luxury bags from scratches and all that stuff because like keys are deadly especially if you have like a leather bag so would I recommend this yes I absolutely would I think it's worth the money it's it's two fifty. I think it costs two hundred and fifty dollars plus tax I absolutely love this now keep in mind I do it's not it's typically not this bulky I do have the cards inside I do have the cards that are supposed to be my driver's license and my credit card so let me take that out and then I'll show you guys what it looks like without the cards inside I think that's actually making it a lot more bulky so I barely ever do that okay much better this is what it looks like on a regular basis it wasn't that hard to close it's less bulky and it's more like free but I will say maybe instead of getting it with the rose ballerine interior just get it with the regular um, monogram or like just get the regular canvas with no color because I feel like then you wouldn't have to worry about the peeling but then it probably would still scratch because you know it's it's a gold hardware or some sort of hardware um, but yeah I think you can definitely just take this to the Louis Vuitton store and they would fix it for you I mean you're probably gonna have to pay something they're not gonna do it for free but it's gonna look better but the thing is I feel like 
there's no point fixing it because if I fix it, I still use it the same way and I'm still gonna use it every day so it's probably gonna get messed up again. So I'm probably just, just gonna use this till it's like really banged up and it's not functioning anymore. And I don't see that happening for another couple, like for another like five years, honestly, because I've had this for a year and it still looks amazing. I mean, maybe I'll fix the buckle because I do see that irritating me. Like if the whole thing peels, because right now it's, just literally, it's literally just that small dot, but like if the whole thing peels, I will get it fixed. But um, I still like how it looks. I think it's great and I would absolutely recommend you guys getting this. That's pretty much it on my review on the Louis Vuitton 6 key holder. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you do have a 6 key holder or if you plan on getting one. And if you do have one, how long have you had it for and like what's the wear and tear on it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.